Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a palette resurrection. It's been a while since I did a palette resurrection, and today's resurrection is going to be on this chonker right here. This is the Natasha Denona 28 Green Brown Palette. Now, I've had this palette for a couple of years now, and I don't use it nearly enough for how much it cost. I'll just put the price right here. Yes. Was it worth that? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, it was not. But I would say the Natasha Denona palettes that I have have a special place in my heart because back when I was just getting to the point where I could actually buy makeup and like afford higher end stuff, these were like the be all end all palettes. Like these were the ones where the big beauty YouTubers I was following would pull this out do beautiful looks and just talk about how amazing they were. First it was the Sunset palette, that was my first one. This came out a while after that. This was a, a tax refund purchase and I can't say, I mean I want to say I regret this because it was a lot of money and I don't use it that much, but ultimately I can't really 100% regret any of my Natasha Denona purchases because otherwise I wouldn't have learned everything that I have learned up until now and I want to be able to give you guys a full picture of the brand which speaking of I do need to do I used to do these videos called four by fours let me know down below if you remember those but it used to be like the top four best and top four worst products from brands and I did a couple of brands some high-end some affordable and I was planning to do one on Natasha Denona and I just never got around to it so let me know if you guys want to see that because I probably should do that one <laughs> anyway like I was saying I can't 100% regret this because I learned a lot from it and I'm just gonna do my best now to get my use out of it. I actually really really considered making this my 2020 pen that palette. I think it's going to be a Natasha Denona palette but I don't think it's gonna be this one. So I but I've, I gave a lot of thought to it. It is currently included in my HP Project Pan video which I think I'll have an update up before this video, so if you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. And that's why you'll see these stickers here. Those are the shades I'm focusing on for that project pan. And that goes until December. And I really think bringing it into smaller projects like that, just rotating it out, really getting use out of it, is the best way to go for this kind of big <laughs> palette. So for this video, I really wanted to do two looks and some swatches. I did one look focused on like the top half of this palette that is very neutrally and brown. And then I did one look with the greens kind of in the bottom half of the palette, which is what I am wearing today. My palette looks different because I did pop out the shades. Natasha Denona shades are actually super easy to just pop out because they're magnetic. You can pop them out, rearrange the palette any way you want. So I rearranged it to be more of like a gradient from the browns to the greens because I really wanted to focus on the greens. So that's why mine looks a little bit different if you happen to have this or see pictures of it online. So I did two looks and swatches. Let's first jump into the swatches of this palette. So those are the swatches. I have to say I'm glad I swatched out the whole palette. Part of me was like, that's a lot of work. Do I want to swatch this? <laughs> that's me complaining. But I'm glad because I will say these shades look so much different swatched out than they do in the pan. And I have to say particularly like the kind of duo chromey, -y, like the shimmers really pop. And that was with no primer, nothing, just on my arm. They look gorgeous and it really got me excited to play more of this palette so that's something i will say if you guys are bored with your palettes or you need inspiration have a swatch party just sit there and swatch things out because you'll see things you might not have seen with it just in the pan and you'll feel a bit more inspired so i'm glad i did that because i saw there were quite a few shades including like these two down here that just look so beautiful swatched out but like in the pan they look kind of boring so that was really fun. Let's go ahead and jump into the two looks I created using this palette. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. 
She likes notes that say I love you all the time Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine Baby girl be mine Yeah, hey. Pick up your phone, I need your attention My girl so bad, we call her detention I am so glad we moved beyond friendship I am so glad your mama liked me Sweat up with Cupid, told her fight me I stole your love, he shot my heart I'm losing breath, it's getting dark I think I might need CPR Tell me, do you love me like I do? Tell me what you willing to prove Cause I ain't got nothing to lose It's true, you mean the world to me Around the globe, but I know that you're the only girl for me, and I gotta let you know. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl, be mine. Baby girl, be mine. Look, you know you the baddest in the game. Show you how to blow like no way. Baby, I ain't hard to please. Girl, tell me what you need Year round Valentine I'm just trying to get some time Would you, would you spend a night with me? Maybe spend your life with me Check me if I'm trifling Let me be your bestie Bunny and Clyde will be flexing Baby, we can stand the test of time And you ain't even got a second guess that You mean the world to me I travel around the globe But I know that you the only girl for me And I gotta let you know Chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine. Baby girl be mine.
so those are the two looks that I created with this palette. It's definitely not the last time I'm going to be using this for a while. I am still focusing on it during the uh, Harry Potter Project Pan, and I want to play more with this palette. So if you guys want to see more looks with this palette or with any other Natasha Denona palettes that I have, please let me know. I can definitely do like a full... Well, I want to do that 4x4 focused Natasha Denona palette video, and I want to just focus more on my really expensive products, because they're just sitting there, and I should get use out of them, especially when they're this expensive. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.